ready? Yeah! Yay, yeah. yeah, math? Yay, yeah. yeah, math! All right, good. Never gets old. <laughs> okay, so suppose you have the following equation. Please write this one down, and we're going to do this together. All right, try that one. Okay. Who remembers how to add fractions? Yes? You find the greatest common factor first. No, almost. Say it again. <laughs> yes. Common denominator. Common oh, denominator. denominator. Speak up because I'm proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Okay. <laughs> so what is the greatest common factor in this case? Six. Six. So what do we multiply top and bottom here to get six? Three. 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 Here it comes. Three. Three. What do we multiply top and bottom here to get six? Two. Nothing. Nothing. Because it's already six. Look oh, up and say two. two. What do we multiply two. top and bottom here? Two. 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 Okay. This can be rewritten as 3x over 6 plus 5 over 6 equals 2x over 6. Okay. And the reason we did this was that now we can remove the 6 by multiplying both sides by 6. Okay, here it comes. 6, 6. What happens when we do this? Who knows? Who knows? Yes. It gets rid of the 6. It gets rid of the 6s. Yes. I would love to get rid of this 666, six, six, both on the thing and in my life. <laughs> Risky! Risky. <laughs> All right. Six cancels with these two. Remember, we distribute the six, and it's gone. Six cancels with this. Doesn't it do anything to the top, though? No. Six divided by six is one over one. All right, good question. One, one, one. Good question. So what's left over here? 3x plus 5 equals 2x. 3x plus 5 equals 2x. <laughs> Write it. Oh, and then you, now we saw it as 2x to both sides. Minus 5. No. No. So there's, yeah, a, there's many ways we can do this. Many ways we can do it. It's plus 5. Right. No, minus 5. 3x minus 2x equals negative 5. X equals negative 5. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Wait, wait. No. Oh. Yes. Yes, it is. You're shaking the whole thing. Wow. All right. Oh, I have a question. Question! I did it a totally different way and I got Speak it. Okay, so we can do it a different way at home, but right now we have time to do it one way. So okay. congratulations, here's your way. I hope you like it. Okay, <laughs> let's do another problem. So, to sum up, to sum up, to add fractions, we need a common denominator. Add fractions, we need a common denominator. It's going to happen again for the next three problems. 3x over x minus 5 equals 5 over, oh, 5 over nothing, 1. 5 over 1. The problem will give you 5, okay? So just write it over 1. Okay. 5 over 1 minus 5 over x minus 5 again. Okay. Same concept. What would you like the common denominator to be?